What is up YouTube? My name is Abbas, your Protopi expert and welcome to the Ask Protopi series where we try to answer questions that you ask us. Today's question comes from Jules who asks, do you have any tutorial for making a skeleton loader? Well yes we do and here it is. In today's tutorial I will go over two things. One, how to make a very basic skeleton loader and two, how you can make it more realistic by just adding a few opacity responses. Let's go ahead and get right into it. To start, let me show you the three screens we'll be using today. For the first screen, we just want to use it to launch the app. The second screen is your actual skeleton loader. And the third one is the final UI that we want to transition to. Let's go ahead and select these and export them to Protopi. And there you go. All right, let's get right into scene one. Here, all you want to do is launch the app by tapping this icon. So we'll go ahead and select this icon and we will add a trigger and we will select tap. That's what we want to do. We want to jump from this scene to another scene. So we'll use the jump response. Jump is what, you can, jump is what can take you from scene A to scene B and consider this to be scene A and this to be scene B. So we'll just have to select that by going here. That's our scene B. Now we can also choose a transition effect between the two. Let's choose a pop for now because that will look like an app launch. Let's see what this looks like. There you go. So far so good. Now let's go to scene 2. This is our actual skeleton loader UI. We want the screen to show up for a few seconds and then we want to automatically transition to scene 3. Well, for this we don't want any intervention from the user so to do this automatically we choose start. Start comes into effect as soon as this scene comes into full view. So let's go ahead and choose start and then for the response again we'll choose a jump because we want to go from this scene to scene 3. Let's go ahead and select scene 3 here. This time for the transition let's choose a fade because we want the elements of the skeleton loader to actually fade in to the final UI. All right let's see what this looks like. So you'll notice this is happening very quickly. So we want to see the jump, we want to see the uh, skeleton loader screen for a few seconds before we jump, right? So we'll give it a bit of a delay. delay. So the jump effect will happen after the time delay that we put here. And I'm putting in 2.5 seconds here. So you're supposed to see this screen for 2.5 seconds and then we'll jump to scene 3. Let's see what this looks like. So you see it for 2.5 seconds and then you see the final one. There you go. And let's just do the full flow again. Let's just go ahead, preview, launch, 2.5 seconds, sec skeleton loader, and then finally you are, there you go. That's how you can make a basic skeleton loader. We're already done, and that was easy as pie. Now let's go ahead and add a few more details and make it a bit more realistic. So I'm just gonna play this prototype once again to see what we want to improve. First thing you'll notice is that the skeleton UI is already there. We want it to be blank and then show the skeleton UI. And then the second thing, the most important thing is the skeleton UI should look like it's actually loading content. What, what, this, what you might have noticed is skeleton loaders usually fade in and out. It's called a shimmer effect. And we will achieve that using just a couple of PC responses. So let's get right into that and we'll go to scene two. Now the first thing we wanted to fix is these elements should not be visible until the app has come into full view. So I'm just going to take the opacity away here. And now these elements are invisible. You can't see them at all. But we do want them to appear when the app has come into full view. So I'm going to select the first element. I'm going to select opacity. And I'm going to make it go from 0 to 100. So now when the app comes into full view, because it's start, when the app comes into full view, it's going to go from 0 to 100. Let's do this again for the second element. Selected it. Now I'm going to select opacity as a trigger. Select the element. Add a response. Select opacity and go from 0 to 100. And let's see what this looks like. So we go to the start, preview again, launch the app. So you see it's blank at the start and then the elements fade in. All right. And now to do the most important thing, we want to make it fade in and out. We want to do the shimmer effect. 
So to do that, I will uh, select this one again, this element again, and I will add another opacity response. Now we've already gone from 0 to 100 using this one. Now this time we want to go from 100 to a lower opacity. We don't want to make it completely invisible. We, so that's why we're not going to choose 0, but let's choose something low like 25. And let's choose the same. Let's add one more opacity response. response. We're going to take it from 100 to 25. So I'm just going to put 25 here. So let's see what this looks like now. You'll notice that these elements seem to be stuck at opacity 25. And the reason for that is all of them, all of the opacity responses are happening at the same time. We want to uh, first make them appear at 100 and then take them down to 25. So let's give the 25 ones a bit of a delay. Let's say about 0.5 seconds. Right, you can see in the timeline view here. Let's see what happens now. So you see the 100 one and then you see the 25 one. Right, it's happening too quickly. We also want it to repeat. So let's select all of them and let's select the repeat option here. We don't want to do a specific count or interval. We just want an infinite repeat. So we'll select infinite repeat. And let's see what this looks like. So you'll notice it's kind of fluctuating really quickly. We want to kind of make it easier on the eyes. So to do that, let's increase the duration a little bit to let's say 0 0.5. Now let's see what this looks like. So it's fading in and out. It's a bit smoother and softer and more subtle. All right, now let's just look at the full flow again. Preview. And there you go, fade in and out. And finally UI, there you go. Now you have a realistic looking skeleton UI loader. Also, super easy, super easy as pie. If you found this helpful, please feel free to ask us more questions by using the link in the description below. See you next time.